That's first play right out the gate. Receivers, we all look at each other and just smile because we know what that means. We know we're going to come out and start passing this thing. What does this win do for your confidence for the team and the Tennessee? I mean, it puts our confidence up there, but we got a 24-hour celebration rule, and that's what we're going to do. But next week, we're going to come back out working harder and harder to uh, go up to Knoxville and beat Tennessee. It looked like the offense really wanted to come out and make a statement today. The defense had proved itself already. Did you all sort of have that in the back of your head? Oh, yes, sir. Um, all around. Even all week we came out, we knew we was going to come out clicking on all cylinders, but we still got a couple of minor mistakes that we can fix. But I feel like tonight, offense, defense, passing game, rushing game, it was all it was clicking on all cylinders, and that's what we felt good tonight. How loud did it get when you were running in the end zone there at the first play? Well, to be honest, when I have the ball or running around, I really don't hear the crowd. And even after I score, I don't hear it until I come back to the sideline. And that's when I realized the crowd was really loud. Were you able to find Johnson after the game? Uh, no, Maybe. sir. I, I didn't get a chance to go out there. I had an interview. Would you have imagined coming in that your touchdown would be all the points you need to win? The defense would shut them down that much and the offense would do it again? I had a feeling that our defense was going to play sound defense and do what they do. And I felt like our offense was going to come out and be on our tenders and be on our P's and Q's. And I felt like that's what we did. Surprise breaks open on the first play of Flea Flicker. They just kind of left to get much ago. Oh, no, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. No, sir. Um, I mean, we've been working that play all week, and we came out here and put it on the show. What's uh, what's going to Jake, Jake do to you for uh, that drop down there? He was, uh, I think he only had two at that point, uh, two misses, and yeah. that was a pretty good throw. Yes, sir. I mean, that, that's the, you can't get any better than that. And, I mean, he came up to the side, and he's like, you're, you're good, you're good. You'll make up for it next time. Because for me, I set myself at a higher standard than, than normal people would. I don't, I don't like to see myself drop or make any mistakes because I want to be that perfect guy. I know that's hard to be, but that, that's kind of what I set myself at. And I feel like I let the team down with that drop, but I know I can come back Monday and work hard. Are you, are you still learning stuff about Jake Fromm? <laughs> Not really, because, I mean, he, he's that simple guy. I mean, he's going to come out, know what he needs to do, help you out as well, and just be calm, cool, and collective in the pocket. He hit every pass in the first half. I mean, is this really uh, his best performance? Sir? He hit every pass in the first half. Was this Jake's best performance? Oh, no, sir. There, there's more to come. I mean, there's just a preview. And with that kid, I mean, the, the sky's the limit for him.